We go now to our reporter, Laura Windsor, with this report. Headaches in children are common and are usually not serious. Like adults, children can develop different types of headaches, including migraines or stress-related tension headaches. We asked Dr. Mary Zupons of Children's Hospital of Orange County about the most common type of headaches children will have. Most children who have headaches have migraine headaches. Uh, uh, it's unusual for a child less than three years of age to uh, complain of a headache de novo uh, without having migraine headaches, and they can present very, very early. Now, there are many other reasons why children can have headaches. For example, head trauma can result in headaches, infections that affect the ear or the sinuses or the throat, or if you develop influenza, oftentimes headaches, malaise, fever uh, can cause headaches. Uh, but if you're talking about intermittent, unprovoked headaches in children, oftentimes they are migraines. The headaches in young children are usually briefer than adult headaches. Uh, often they can begin with facial pallor, just a little paleness. That's what parents typically describe. The child may be quieter than usual. Um, activity level may change. And if they lie down and go to sleep for a little while, the headache disappears. Um, but the headaches, migraine headaches in young children can present as early as two to three years, uh, two to three years of age. But they're briefer, tend to be less severe. They may last minutes, not hours, and go unrecognized as being migraine headaches. Young children don't have well-developed sinuses, so it's often unusual for a child to have a sinus headache. Um, allergies, if they have severe allergies, can sometimes produce a headache as well. About 10 to 15 percent of the population has uh, migraine headaches. We probably all had uh, a migraine headache at some point, but often they're not disabling. It's only a small percentage of the population that have disabling uh, headaches. We asked Dr. Zupons if there are any guidelines parents should follow to help their children avoid getting migraine headaches. In children who have migraine headaches, tension headaches, there are several just rules of the road. I rarely prescribe anti-migranous medication for children because if you follow these rules of the road, oftentimes the headaches disappear. They have to, children have to be well hydrated have access to water, drink water uh, or juice. Watch their caffeine intake. Are you eating regular meals? Do you provide the time, either in school or at home, to have a relaxed dinner? Are they eating breakfast before they go to school? Very simple things, very easy things to correct. Adequate sleep at night, exercise, Exercise is important as it can reduce the frequency of migraine headaches and in addition decreases anxiety and depression. Uh, and then identify the stressors and how you can alleviate the stressors. Keeping your child on a set sleeping schedule is good advice because adequate sleep is necessary, especially during their formative years of growth. For the American Health Journal, I'm Laura Windsor.